third and last topic types of statements in eft we discussed declaration statements next utility uh, test object statements or object calls utility statements flow control statements conditional and loop next calling actions functions next any other type tell me jay shetty declarations b sharp declarations test object statements utility statements flow control conditional statements and loop statements next action calls function calls ah uh. output value statement okay checkpoint statements first checkpoint statements and synchronization point statements okay 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 see checkpoint statements we can insert one or more checkpoints in a test see just a minute i will show a small example ah uh, oh, just a minute say <clears throat> uh don't concentrate on this navigation in how this we will discuss in checkpoints chapter so record the navigation can you be my desktop arjun yes sir okay cool design menu insert uh, design menu checkpoint standard checkpoint i want to insert checkpoint on tickets object say text property value to tickets my expectation 1 put base state and run the script will it pass or fail silpa will it pass or fail pass expected uh, one actual also one see view last run results ha uh, suppose observe observe anita i am modifying the updating the tickets Uh, put base state if i run this script will it execute or not surendra to execute but it failed fail see so standard checkpoint default time synchronization time 10 seconds fail it time only it waits maximum 10 seconds pass it time required time only see so, uh, launch result window see failed okay anyhow this we will discuss in uh, checkpoint chapter see observe this last statement checkpoint statement check checkpoint of tickets next output value output value statement you can insert uh, one or more one or more output values in a test see another name of output value output checkpoint it captures output during execution not only output any property it captures output during test execution 
and stores in runtime data table I record the navigation opening third order now i want to export this uh, customer name see design output value standard output value i want text property run the script open result window just a minute data see name captured next uh for synchronization point statement i will show example later synchronization point statement next vb script statements suppose dim is vb script statement dim a this is vb script statement next set is vb script statement just a minute set see using set statement we can store object reference suppose set a put mute set a a is just a variable set a equal to use common hierarchy observe shivram in the script what is the common object hierarchy dialog of login you take the hierarchy in just a minute see a storing this concept is called storing object reference put base state required state for running the test run observe surendra what is this set selected one selected one selected one in three line a uh, third line end reference it stores a reference just a minute third line end jay shetty what is the selected set no. not sure not sure try to identify the keywords 
you tell me arjun what is this selected set providing the input value ah method method or operation next observe arjun first first line first word what is this set it is statement name same what is object syntax uh, what is method syntax object dot method but say, statement is single thing independent thing observe select this set press f1 observe here set method set method next select this first one and press f1 in this time minute it's not locating properly observe arjun with same name statement available na the first set statement the third line set method how can you differentiate anita silpa okay how can you di differentiate sir the first one is the beginning of the statement whereas the second one comes after a dot in the form of a vd yes method syntax object dot method methods can't be used individually but statement can be used individually see names the same but first set is statement vb script statement this third line set is method next one more type automation object statements automation object statements observe see don't concentrate on this syntax set variable suppose obj excel equal to create object of excel dot application see creating excel application object next using excel ap application object we can perform excel application operations see dot visible equal to true don't concentrate on this syntax object dot workbooks dot add next object dot active active workbook dot save as see creating excel file provide path for storing suppose i want to store on desktop
उसे फाइल नेम इज ए बी सी डी डॉट एक्स एल एस एक्स नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट क्विट क्लोज द एक्सेल एप्लीकेशन ऑब्जर्व ऑन डेस्कटॉप जय शेट्टी ऑब्जर्व ऑन डेस्कटॉप What happened? Created the Excel file. Excel file. See, these statements are automation object statements. This OBJ Excel is automation object. See, these are the different types of statements that we use in EFT test. Nearly ten statements. Tell me, tell me, Selpa, what are the types of statements that we use in eft test ah uh, hmm test object statement control flow uh, hmm hmm action calls one minute control flow flow control both are same okay in flow control we have two types conditional statements loop statements ah uh, continue Hmm. Set point statement. Hmm. Put value statement. Hmm. Synchronization time statement. Hmm. Nation object statement. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. See, these are the maximum possibilities. Put note. These are the maximum possibilities. See, based on your requirement, you can use them. Next, come to mainstream. As per our roadmap, EFT test process. first phase is planning okay in real time first phase planning but in our training program we will discuss planning phase at end of the program why after discussing all concepts only you can cope up for planning phase but in real time first planning then generating basic tests enhancing tests running and debugging tests etc but here we will discuss planning phase at end of the training program see uh, you postpone that one next phase what is the next phase arjun next phase in eft test process first planning what is the next phase sultana ha uh. generating basic tests plain navigation see eft test this is the root eft test process next generating basic tests see in high level orientation we have two methods for generating basic tests one is object repository based test design another is descriptive programming the first i am taking object repository object repository based test design so again in object repository based test design we have two methods what are the two methods sultana again in object repository based test design again we have two sub methods to generate tests shivram yes one is recording second one is keyword driven methodology uh, generating tests without recording using keywords see first i am taking record recording test recording okay uh before going to discuss uh, generating basic tests one more basic concept uh, that concept for all types of test design 
if it is regarding or keyword driven methodology or descriptive programming common small chapter prerequisites prerequisites for creating tests prerequisites for creating tests these prerequisites are common for all types of test design okay first one test scenario example say i am taking this windows based application and one web based application see this login login operation in flight reservation login operation or you can say login functionality login operation in flight reservation application next another one gmail login operation gmail login operation this is test scenario next steps are navigation see uh, general term steps technical term navigation steps or navigation uh, for, for first login operation mm, surendra can you tell me uh, steps for login operation in flight reservation observe first one launch launch login dialog box means launch the application ah uh, next continue activate the dialog observe surendra now dialog is in activated state or not now we activated see select or activate the dialog box enter agent name enter password click on default button means here default button is okay button see there is a navigation see first launch the application next second step activate activate the login dialog box next enter agent name next enter password next click on okay button see this is the navigation i think all of you familiar with gmail gmail login ah uh, tell me sultana steps for gmail login operation launch 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 the browser launch the browser launch the browser and navigate navigate to gmail 
होम पेज नेक्स्ट सेकंड स्टेप एंटर ईमेल ईमेल एड्रेस नेक्स्ट एंटर पासवर्ड ओके पुट म्यूट डिस्टरबेंस फ्रॉम योर साइड नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन साइन इन बटन जस्ट ए मिनट फर्स्ट लॉन्च जी मेल होम पेज एंटर ईमेल एंटर पासवर्ड क्लिक साइन इन ओके नेक्स्ट थर्ड वन फर्स्ट टेस्ट सिनारियो सेकेंड वन स्टेप्स आर नेविगेशन नेक्स्ट थर्ड वन वेरीफिकेशन वेरीफिकेशन पॉइंट वन आर् मोर फस्ट वेरीफिकेशन पॉइंट फार लागिन आपरेशन अबर्व ब्रेंडा ब्रेंडा इज देर ओके अबर्व एंटर एजेंट नेम एंटर पासवर्ड क्लिक ओके बटन ओके लागिंग Uh, log in successful uh, here what is the verification point brenda try to identify the verification point flight schedule flight schedule try to identify the verification point how to how to confirm login operation flight reservation window yes good flight reservation window say if login successful then it launches flight reservation window by checking the existence of flight reservation window we can confirm login operation see here verification point check the existence of flight reservation window next arjun verification point for gmail login operation surendra kamal login page of gmail जीमेल जस्ट ए मिनट बेस्टेट हाँ दिस इज द बेस्टेट हाँ जस्ट ए मिनट ईमेल पासवर्ड click sign in button just a minute you are not responding ah tell me after sign in what what you will get we या यू योर ईमेल होम पेज ना योर ईमेल पेज ना सी चेक द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ यूजर ईमेल पेज सर वन मिनट सर हम्म द पेज बिफोर द पेज वेयर ही वाज एंटरिंग यू वर एंटरिंग द 
login ID and password. Mm. Is is that place not the verification point? Is that page not the verification point? Why why that page? Tell me. Why the use of that page? Um, just a Gmail. Login, just login not log into the account. Log, where is log into the account? You are asking this page. This page. Right. Just a minute. This page. Yeah, this is where we need to be, right? This is Gmail home page. This is Gmail home page, not user email page. How to confirm before entering email password? How to confirm uh, login operation is successful or not? Okay, after you log in only. You yes, after entering login details only, you can confirm login is successful or not. Before entering login details, how can you confirm? Yeah, yeah. Yes, now I got it. Sir. Okay, cool. See, check the existence of user email page. Okay, verification point, okay? See, on test may have one or more verification points. Suppose here, login, uh, check the existence of FR window, flight reservation window. If it exists, then pass, otherwise fail. Next, check the existence of user email page. If it exists, then pass, otherwise fail. Single verification point. Okay, here positive, negative scenarios there. But single verification point. Suppose two verification points. One test may have one or more verification points. Observe my test requirement, uh, Arjun. My test requirement is verify update order button verify update order button ah here conditions before open an order before opening an order update order button should be disabled next after opening an order any order update order button should be enabled this is my requirement here how many verification points respond quickly sure how many verification points two. two before opening order one verification after opening one verification see two even test may have one or more verification points see next fourth one error handling error handling Say for login flight reservation application. Say if we enter invalid input, definitely it will show error message. See in order to perform next iteration or next test execution, we need to close the error pop-up and cancel the login dialog. Here error handling is Close error pop-up. Close error pop-up. And cancel. And cancel the login dialog. Next, Gmail login operation. Uh, tell me, Anita, for Gmail login, what is the error handling? Observe, suppose I entered invalid email and password. It is showing error message in the same page, right. no error pop-up. Uh, here, how to handle this uh, scenario? Two, yes, two exceptions. One is... Close the uh, close the browser. Otherwise, if you want to re-enter correct thing, you re-enter. Suppose if you don't want to re-enter, you want to use same login credentials, then close the browser window.
close the browser window. Next, input data. Input data. See, first, input data for login operation. Agent name. Next. Password. Next, input data for Gmail login operation. Registered email. Email. Password. Next, last one optional. Comments, add comments. Comments optional, but best practice. See, these are the prerequisites for generating tests in EFT. Ah. Tell me, Brenda, prerequisites for generating tests. Test scenario. Mm. Test navigation. Mm. Test scenario. Steps are navigation. Ah. Uh, verification point. Ah. Error spelling. Ah. Input data. Mm. Add comments. Okay. Adding comments. Okay. See, next, come to mainstream. Record and run tests. record and run run means execution playback record and playback record and run tests see first chapter index test recording Test recording. Next. Test run or execution. Next. Record modes. See, first one, normal recording. Normal or general recording. Next, analog, analog recording, next, low level recording, next, insight recording. See, this insight recording not available in QTP last version, available in EFT only. Newly added, insight recording. Next, advantage of recording, disadvantage of recording. Advantages of recording. Next, disadvantages. Disadvantage of recording. First, test recording. Observe. <coughs> so, I am taking the new test. See, this is editor. Editor blank. It is new test. Launch object repository, resources menu, object repository, object repository also blank, only headings. Start recording. You can use 
record menu record otherwise record toolbar item or f6 shortcut key see record okay i will explain these options later first general navigation record activate the dialog box enter agent name enter password click okay button four steps ah uh, now tell me uh, can you tell me anita what is recording what is test recording uh, uh, open object repository see objects information stored four objects information stored four statements or steps generated in tool editor uh, now tell me what is test recording Mm. Okay. And then the test for oh. the test is run. I run. Forget about test run. Just think about test recording. Okay. Put mute. I will explain. Test recording. It is a process of generating statements for. every user operation on aut simultaneously storing objects information into object repository what type of objects run time objects test objects or utility objects or automation objects test objects observe it is a process of generating steps or statements for every user operation tester operation user operation on aut simultaneously storing uh, what type of object test objects test objects information into object repository object repository tell me shivaram what is test recording process what is test recording it is process of uh, generating test statements from uh, every user operation and simultaneously stores the object information in object repository uh, objects information what type of objects utility objects are uh, automation objects or run time objects run time objects run time objects what is the heading test objects. test objects see in my notes also i mentioned it test objects concentrate okay this is test recording process okay na silpa test recording any confusion okay next test run see using run command run command otherwise f5 shortcut key next in run menu also that run menu item available see you can use this toolbar option click run ah observe one more thing to execute any test base state is important base state what is base state required state for 
running the test required setup for running the test ah observe silpa what is the required setup for running this test what is the base state for this test uh, slide rules should be on yes login dialog login dialog box should be appeared okay na yes sir base state okay put base state run the script it is executing executing next what is test run process test run or test execution see during test execution or test run uft reads statements one by one and gets objects information from object repository based on that information performs operations on aut see during test run uft reads statements one by one and gets objects information objects information from object repository next based on that information performs operations on aut based on that information performs operations on aut here two things required one is statement or step nothing but instruction one is instruction activate the dialog ah uh, for activating the dialog instruction okay for activating the dialog first uft has to recognize that object ah uh, first it gets a object information from object repository see okay button also statement nothing but instruction instruction is required then object object is requ object recognition required see first reading dialog box activate the dialog box and gets object information from object repository next enter a value into edit box getting information and performing operation next password next okay suppose instruction available in uft tool editor but object information not available uh, then what will happen jay shetty statements available one of the object information not available then what will happen if i execute the script hello arjun getting my requirement getting my question yes sir ah uh, tell me what will happen suppose instruction available but object information not available in in the object repository then what will happen the test will fail right it will show error yes. here pass or fail is not criteria first of all it won't execute it won't execute suppose if you test executes then pass or fail is the criteria first of all it won't execute observe here four statements one is activating the dialog enter agent name enter password click okay button the resources object repository i'm deleting this okay button delete confirm deletion uh, this is a local repository no need to save uh, now run the script it is showing error first three steps performed activating login dialog entering agent name entering password for last step uh, okay click 
object not identified object information not available in object repository see just a minute uh, show this okay button now run the script executing suppose in another scenario jay shetty another scenario uh, one extra object here for these four statements four objects required one extra object available in object repository if i execute this script what will happen will it execute or show error see no no statement on cancel button but in object repository cancel button object also available if i execute this script what will happen <coughs> Hmm. Error. Error. No, you said uh, state. There is no statement. There is no statement. Then yeah. there is no problem, na. Right. Suppose extra information available in object repository. Forget about extra information. Required information available. Required information for objects. Required information available. Extra information also there. Forget about extra information. See, it will execute without error. See, run the script. See, executing. Okay. Ah, uh, now tell me, ah, uh, tell me, Anita, what is test run or test execution process? Mm. and then based on that information um performs operations on aut yes, very simple based on that information it performs operation on aut see test run during test run or execution uft reads statements one by one and gets objects information from object repository based on that information performs operations on aut suppose if statements available in eft tool editor objects not object information not available then it will show error suppose extra objects information available in object repository no issues uh, test can be executed next see we have some recording modes first normal recording see most of the time we use a normal recording if we choose recording for test design 99% we use a normal recording only suppose if you don't choose recording for test design then no need to discuss about this suppose if we choose recording for test design 99% we use a normal recording only remaining modes rare use see first what is normal recording what is normal recording it records user mouse and keyboard operations based on objects see it records user means tester mouse and keyboard operations based on objects otherwise you can say like this it records user context sensitive operations what is context sensitive means independent operation individual operation in between two operations break is there example suppose activate the dialog activate the dialog <coughs> 
independent operation over enter agent name over enter password next click ok button see opposite term is continuous operation see context sensitive operation and continuous mouse operation see it records user context sensitive operations based on objects see r alternate definition otherwise you can see first one it records user mouse and keyboard operations based on objects next <coughs> it is default mode of eft default recording mode it is default recording mode of eft why it is default recording mode i will explain see first i am taking the new test in just a minute select recording record ah uh, here it is showing windows applications web suppose if you load java add in it will show java environment also here environments suppose our says windows application here two options available record and run test on any open windows based application if we choose first option if we choose first option then it can record it will record any open windows based application suppose mistakenly if you click on any other window other than our application it will record that statements also say if we choose first option then it will record on any open windows based application next second option ah uh, here you can specify the application and provide the path of the application then it will it, it will record up, uh, it will record statements only on that application it ignores other applications find the difference between these two uh surendra what is the difference tell me first option what is first option, first option open, mm. so not only two any open windows based application suppose three applications 10 applications also okay ah uh, next second one <coughs> specified application you can specify the path of the application and it records only on that application and and one more thing here you can specify more than one application also but most of the time we use single application path see first first option record on any open windows based application any open means open on desktop second option record on specific applications okay see first i am taking first option first option ah activate the dialog box enter agent name enter password next activate the paint window
open next okay observe sultana it record done two applications na one is flight reservation application another is paint application hello jay shetty can you view the test script yes sir see it record on two applications one is uh, uh, live, uh, that flight reservation application another is paint application it will execute both run the script or next second option record and run a uh, record only specific application same so taking the new test record select second option uh, click add icon provide the path the path already set otherwise set the path click okay see application launched just a minute record you try to operate paint application i activate the paint observe selfa we operated paint application also any statements generated for paint application no no it ignores other applications these are the two options see next one drawback of this uh, uh, normal recording mode drawback it is unable to playback user continuous mouse operations it is unable to playback user continuous mouse operations like digital signatures etc observe first record and run settings record see generating statements it is unable to play back user continuous mouse operations it is unable to play back user continuous mouse operations like digital signatures etc observe record and run record statements on the activated activated statements eight what is the drawback of uh, normal recording mode arjun it is unable to record continuous mouse operations and one more point we discussed it is the it is the default mode of uh, uft why see observe this record menu uh, first record record means normal recording next uh, analog recording inside recording options available now tell me brenda why it is default recording mode of uft Shivram uh, 
without sel without selecting normal recording mode we can't switch to other modes that's why it is default recording mode see without select analog or low level or inside see this is about to normal recording observe once again it records thousand keyboard operations based on objects otherwise you can say it records next it unable to record user continuous mouse operations like digital signatures etc next default recording mode why without selecting normal recording mode we can't switch to other modes okay next second one analog recording mode. analog recording what is analog recording mode it records see it records user operations based on xy coordinates xy coordinates ah uh, xy coordinates of either desktop or application window you select the option application window either desktop or application window see find the difference between first mode based on second mode based on xy coordinates of either desktop window and one more thing it can record continuous mouse operations it can record continuous mouse operations as well as normal operations normal operations suppose if analog recording mode is suitable for recording normal operations and analog means continuous mouse operations then why normal recording mode two reasons are there i will explain see analog recording mode can record continuous mouse operations as well as normal operations also but why normal recording mode normal record only for normal operations but analog can record normal operations as continuous mouse operations okay but we cannot select analog recording mode for normal operations why two reasons first reason it occupies more memory than normal recording so tool execution performance will be decreased that is one reason anyhow that is not uh, uh, primary reason important reason is there observe observe see record oh. take new test ah oh. observe analog recording settings here two options available one is record relative to the screen screen means desktop second option record relative to the following window first we have to show the window then it records based on that window x coordinates okay first selecting default option record relative to the screen start analog recording See, activating the paint window. See, it doesn't generate statements for every user operation on AUT. 
it generates all operations in a track file the track file is not visible so final conclusion not readable as well as editable see but it can execute properly if any modifications in future re recording is the only possibility run the script observe arjun observe executing na can you view my desktop or uh, same problem like yesterday no i am able to okay put base state once again move the window observe brenda observe observe the mouse pointer see not executed properly what okay. see first we recorded based on desktop xy coordinates na in the same place only it is executing isn't it ha uh, if we move the window it won't execute on that window okay next second option see take new test or uh, record next record analog recording second uh, sec uh, select second option select second option take hand icon and show the a uh, paint application start analog recording stop next put base state required state for running the test run the test executing put base state once again uh, move the window run observe anita is it executing properly or not no sir cuz we moved the window hmm what happened you tell me shivram executed na i first identified that window based on that uh, that application window xy coordinate executed next one more example see this time no uh, continuous mouse operations normal operations only suppose i want to generate this login login operation using analog recording mode a record next analog recording show the dialog box start analog recording is it generating any statement sultana yes yeah. yes concentrate sultana concentrate silpa is it generating any statements no no it generates all operations in a track file the track file is not visible as well as editable observe but it can execute normal operations run the script executing say a uh, launch object repository in object repository also single object you didn't store that uh, agent name password okay buttons uh, now tell me 
Arjun, why can't we use this mode for normal operation? It is executing. Hmm. It will take more internal memory. Ah, that is one reason. Another reason? It will reduce the tool performance. As hmm. That is uh, comes under first point only. Uh, more me taking. Ah, see, script is not readable as well as editable. If any modifications are there in future, re-recording is the only option. No modifications. See, first one, it occupies, it occupies more memory, more memory than normal recording. This is first drawback. Uh, it leads performance issues. See? So, tool execution performance. Execution performance will be reduced. Next. Important one, actually this is secondary only, primary one, it doesn't generate statements for every user operation on AUT. See, it doesn't generate statements for every user operation on AUT, operation on AUT. It records all operations in a track file. See, final conclusion, test is not readable as well as editable, editable. Test is not readable as well as editable. Hmm. Tell me, uh, Jay Shetty, what is analog recording mode? Huh. Ah. Ah. Coordinates of either desktop or application window. User can select the option. Next. It can record continuous mode operation ah. as well as normal operation. Ah. But we can't use this mode for normal operations. Why? What is the reason? operation on AUT, so script is not readable as well as editable. Next, another reason, it occupies more memory than normal recording, so tool performance will be reduced during execution. Okay. Next, my requirement is, suppose in my test, suppose in my test some normal operations and one or two analog operations. Uh, which one is suitable mode for my requirement, Shivram? Understand my requirement. Ah, in my test, some operations are normal operations, one or two operations, continuous mouse operations. Ah, for my test, which one is suitable mode? Normal or analog? analog. Why? Yes, analog can generate, analog can record normal operations as well as continuous mouse operations. Okay. But not required. UFT supports hybrid approach for recording modes also. First, uh, ah. In analog recording, uh, if we choose the X-ray coordinate based on application, 
Maximize is different. Rest what is restoring? Uh, reduce the size just a minute suppose this is actual size Stop. Put base state. Run the script. Next again, put base state. Run the script. Again, the state. What is happening? Executing or not? Uh, executing. Uh, next, my requirement. in my rec in my test some statements are normal statements one or two statements uh, continuous mouse operations for that eft supports hybrid approach first select normal recording and generate normal statements whenever you want to uh, record continuous mouse operations switch to analog recording and generate continuous mouse operations then switch off analog see hybrid approach for record modes just a minute see my test is fax order operation record the navigation open an order file fax order enter 10 digit number any number next here agent signature is there uh, switch to analog recording show the dialog start analog next switch off analog click on send button this is again normal operation stop put base state and uh, run the script put a scroll bar also we can use here pardon scroll bar there is a scroll bar not here but any application scroll bar is different that is not continuous mouse operation that operation is different observe selected statements normal statements and this one observe jay city what is the selected statement it is analog analog statements again last two statements normal statements say eft supports hybrid approach for uh, record modes also suppose if you want to generate normal and continuous mouse operations in your test first select normal recording mode 
whenever you want to generate a continuous mode operation switch to analog and switch off analog after generating statement switch off analog and continue with the normal recording mode actually these two recording modes enough remaining rare use low level recording any idea anita what is low level recording not sure sir okay cool say it records some operations on non supported environments it records some operations on non supported environments non supported environment means suppose in our application one or two java objects available but we don't have java add in that time those objects are non supported what are the some operations they didn't specify this trial and error feature it may record may not record just to try it records some operations on non supported environments it records some operations on non supported environments and it also can record normal operations and it can record it can record normal operations but we can't choose this mode for normal operations here also two reasons first reason is uh, it occupies more memory than normal recording and one more thing script is not readable editable but not readable why see it considers all objects in two categories only it considers generic objects only you take any object it considers generic objects only either window or either window or win object if it is browser or page or link whatever it might be it considers either window or win object so script is not readable it is trial and error feature record low level recording say it considers generic object types generic objects here what are the generic object if it is parent object it treats as window browser whatever it might be if it is child object win object single word if it is parent object window if it is child object win object it considers generic objects only and it takes x y coordinates for some operations observe this is low level recording script it can execute run the script
executing find the difference between these two scripts uh, anita first script low level recorded next one normal observe anita both are login scripts only first one first portion low level recorded script second portion normal script find the difference between these two silpa ha ah. Uh, here segregation is there suppose if it is edit box win edit button win button suppose radio button win radio button uh, combo box win combo box like this see here no uh, see button win object edit box win object already told it considers generic objects only if it is parent object window child object win object no segregation so script is not readable script is not readable and one more drawback it occupies more memory than normal recording so we cannot use this mode for normal operations when we choose this mode surendra when we choose this uh, low level recording mode the application has like uh, some has ah uh, suppose qtp uh, uft is not recognizing some of our application front end objects that time you try with a low level recording mode okay na just a trial and error feature suppose it if it can record all operations on non supported environments then no use of add ins see you this is trial and error feature you try it may record may record may not record see when we choose this mode whenever we uh, suppose EFT is not recognizing some of our application objects then you try with low level recording with the functionality of low level recording mode it records some operations on non supported environments and it can record normal operations next extension of low level recording mode uh, insight recording this is just the extension of uh, normal recording mode see some more clarity see same it records some operations on non supported environments only same it records some operations on non supported environments um see here uh, low level recording takes x y coordinates for some operations see this inside recording takes captures inside recording captures screenshots for objects see some more clarity but it is also trial and error feature it may record or may not record on non supported environments see it captures screenshots for objects it occupies more memory than normal recording and one more thing it is also trial and error feature it is just a extension of low level recording observe first record normal recording then switch to inside recording enter agent name enter password click okay button stop observe anta it is taking object also na object screenshots yes sir 
it is also trial trial and error feature see this is about recording modes next two more points uh, are there in this chapter advantages of recording yes me sir ah uh. it is uh, inside recording mode uh, it has uh, usb not qtp not qtp in qtp last version last version of qtp is 11 in that 11 version only three recording modes but in eft only this mode available see Thanks, welcome see advantages of recording disadvantages of recording see it is not time to discuss uh, postponing these two topics why it is not time to discuss suppose if you know at least two methods for generating text then you can say these are the advantages those are the disadvantages at this point of time we learn to only one method so it is not time to discuss okay na arjun why we are postponing these two topics ah yes we uh, so far we learnt only recording for designing tests but it is uh, after learning at least two methods then you can say these are the advantages those are the disadvantages see we will discuss these two topics after discussing uh, this one keyword driven methodology okay next observe one more thing limitations of recording we cannot record we cannot record all types of statements we cannot record all types of statements some steps are not non recordable some steps are non recordable can you give one, one or two examples for non recordable steps see here two points i mentioned uh, anita observe two points i mentioned note one we can't record we can't record all types of statements we can't record all types of statements uh, did you understand this con uh, this point uh, anita yes sir uh, we can we, we cannot record all types of statements yes sir i understand tell me give example suppose if, if you want to insert flow control statements can you record that statements yes see we can record test object statements test object statements and some utility statements not all utility statements system util can be generated but reporter we have to type that statement next another another point put mute somebody is making disturbance see some test object statements <coughs> some test object statements are non recordable see for first point eft can't record flow control statements etc see user need to type those statements Uh, but one more thing recorded script editable you can edit recorded script 
you can edit all types of script if it is a recorded script or descriptive programming you can edit next second one uh, give uh, give one or two scenarios for uh, non recordable test object statements some test object statements anita some test object statements are non recordable we cannot record silpa flow control statement is not test object statement flow control statement is test object statement if statement for statement test object statement those are vb script statements brenda already we discussed this concept yes one of the scenarios operations on disabled objects next one more thing also that surendra any signature signature is there unlock recording is there now you can generate that one incorrect answer signatures you can generate using unlock recording what is the problem dynamic objects no you can record dynamic uh, you can you can record operations on dynamic objects also but some more handling required uh, regular expressions but you can record that statements you can generate that statements hidden object hidden no hidden <laughs> see if object not visible there is no meaning of recording if object is visible but disabled that is meaning suppose object not visible then how to record no meaning of recording see irregular ill irregular operations see observe what is regular operation in this agent name edit box silpa what is regular operation in uh, on uh, what is the regular operation on agent name edit box giving agent name okay ent enter a value yeah entering the entering value that is recordable suppose a b c d e suppose already some value is there in the edit box just a minute i will show another one ah uh, observe shivram here name edit box is there na already some value is there in that edit box i want to capture that value capturing value from an edit box is it a regular operation or irregular operation irregular. irregular generally we set a value into edit box that is regular operation next capturing value from edit box that is irregular suppose i want that value for comparison yes you can get that value the irregular operation it can't be recorded and then how to generate that statement anita i want to capture this value object is in enabled state only but we can't record that statement capturing that value and uh, then how to generate that statement we have two possibilities for generating non recordable statements what are, what are the two possibilities ah uh, first add add object to object repository and type the script that is one possibility another possibility ah uh? uh, jay shetty step generator 
using step generator or add objects to object repository and type the statement see design step generator take hand icon show the object click okay see it is showing regular method set on edit box object but we are not going to set the value get the value see get visible text a return value it returns the value take into variable say customer name customer name okay if you want to display the value you can display run the script just a minute observe arjun is capturing now this is irregular operation so what was the reason first time we put your wrong value <laughs> compatibility issue it's not logic problem irregular operation if you have any doubts you execute once again this compatibility issue okay na this is example for irregular operation we can't generate that one next operation on disabled disabled object see first one this customer name name object is not disabled object enabled only next total price total objects observe those are disabled objects uh, how to generate uh, suppose i want to i want to get the total value how to get that value uh, arjun that is disabled object how to generate statement see poor timing increase the timing shivaram no idea i want to capture this total value 12 uh, 1248 dollar how to capture that statement is not recordable how to capture that value how to record the statement step using step generator otherwise huh otherwise you need to give object to repository ah uh, add object to object repository and type the statement the first time i used step generator this time i am going to use add objects the resources object repository object add objects to local show the object click okay next type the statement suppose i want total value i am taking one variable any meaningful variable suppose total equal to window object hierarchy window of flight reservation dot win edit of total dot get arrow property you don't concentrate on these methods of text property want to display that value msg box total
run the script see first output it is adding one more letter 1248 dollars okay use get aro property method run the script jando 1248 dollars run the script once again observe shivram jando 1248 dollars see first one irregular operation that can't be recorded we we typed manually uh, we generated the statement using step generator second one operation on disabled object these two are advantages of recording or drawbacks of recording shilpa drawbacks okay see uh, okay we will discuss uh, advantages of recording and dis disadvantages of recording later after discussing uh, uh, keyword driven methodology okay for recording no basics required if you know the navigation you can record tests for keyword driven methodology means generating tests manually using shared object repositories generating tests manually using shared object repositories for keyword driven methodology some basics required see first to we have to learn object repository concepts then we will discuss uh, tomorrow we will discuss keyword driven methodology remember for recording no basics required if you know the navigation you can record tests for keyword driven methodology basics required see next chapter object repository concentrate object repository see repository in manual testing also you can find this term repository means a common storage place what is object repository it is a storage place for storing objects information what type of objects test objects see it is a storage place to store test objects information see we have two types of object repository in eft any idea shivram two types of object repository local object repository shared object yes see two types of object repository in eft first one is local object repository second one shared object repository see local object repository is internal file uft creates and maintains internal files shared object repository file is external file user has to create and maintain these external files user need to maintain external files first what is local repository 
let's say uft creates a local repository for every action it is action level not test level suppose in your test only one action only one local repository suppose five actions five local repositories uft creates a local repository for every action during recording uft creates a local repository for every action during recording next uft maintains local repository files local repository files saved along with the test script see these are not individual files saved along with the test script so i am taking the new test launch object repository resources object repository blank only headings next generate the script record enter agent name enter password click okay button stop recording launch object repository resources object repository see object repository created can you view the object repository arjun yes sir object repository created see take new test suppose in this new test two actions suppose i want to two actions action 1 any name call to new action first action 1 record open order open order activate the window click open order button check order number check box and enter order number click okay next switch to uh, this one select action 2 this is fax order first open order next fax order send stop recording uh, put base state run the script as per sequence it, it will execute sequence is first action one second action two action one open order action two fax order okay run the script see open order then fax order next launch object repository resources object repository here observe how many repositories this is first one action one repository next action two repository okay na kamal it records uh, it creates uft creates uft creates a local repository a local repository for every action is the action level next uft only maintains uft only maintain 
local repository files local repository files next how how local repository files save kamal how these can be saved ah no invalid how uft saves local repository files shivaram already told along with the script along with the test script yes see local repository files saved along along with the test or test script next one more point user means tester user can edit local objects see uft creates and maintains local repositories but user can edit local objects if required see user means tester can edit local objects add edit delete observe resources object repository select this fax order number dialog box i want to rename this one you can rename a b c d suppose send a button is there i want to delete this button delete confirm deletion ah last question for the day tell me arjun what is local repository ah uh, creates a local repository uh, uh, every action ah uh, and it's going to when 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 it creates uft creates a local repository for every action when during recording see uft creates a local repository for every action during recording already i explain that one during recording ah uh, continue uh, continue arjun uft creates a local repository for every action during recording ah uh. and it's going to maintain the local repository file hmm uft only maintains local repository files next uh, how uh, uft saves local repository files test if you save the test local repository files will be saved along with the test okay next user can edit local objects okay we'll meet to, tomorrow same yeah, time yeah, i have question ah uh, next it is the in us the timing the timing is changing okay see yeah, as per your timings only i will adjust my indian time okay thank you welcome arjun i will call you arjun i will call you